Hello, my name is Pasha. Uh, I was born in uh, 1973 uh, in Vyborg, in a very good family. And uh, I was born and I was raised as a normal Soviet uh, man in a atheism a ideology. How I came to Christ, it's, uh, I would say it wasn't a simple uh, 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 simple day or it wasn't a short time in my life. I came to Christ through a long time of uh, investigations and spiritual warfare with uh, my thoughts mainly, with my pride, with uh, my willingness to, uh, to defend atheism in my heart. And when I was uh, 18 years old, uh, I met some uh, friends, some foreigners. At that time, uh, they uh, were like an aliens for Soviet people. It was Americans. It was very interesting just to touch them because it was uh, absolutely new. Uh, and I also uh, only what I know about them it's a fairy stories that uh, Americans should come and uh, conquer our country but it was not so <laughs> they came with peace with uh, very uh, interesting ideas of uh, that God is love us uh, uh, loves us and that God want to save our lives and actually they uh, started in meetings uh, first in St. Petersburg, then in my lovely town in Vyborg, and I started to participate in uh, on these meetings and start to hear about what Christ uh, uh, did uh, on the earth uh, uh, 2,000 years ago. And of course, uh, I uh, denied all of this because I was sure that the Christ is the, it's, it's a, just a fairy tales for poor people, uh, for mentally uh, sick people who like to uh, believe in such uh, folk stories uh, and uh, one guy he just decided to speak with me longer and such uh, meetings with uh, that particular guy continued maybe during half of the year uh, every Sunday he returned back from uh, he went uh, from St. Petersburg to Vyborg every Sunday and we spoke with him quite a lot about everything and finally, uh, he told me, I tried to uh, told you everything what I knew about Christ, about science. And I hope you will uh, decide to come uh, to come to Christ, to become a Christian. And at that moment, I told him, mm, maybe not. I'm not so sure. But he told me, I would pray for you. And I would say it was in the in a early spring. And in the summer, I decided, I, I, I thought to myself, okay, uh, those Christians will look good, they like to do good things, they like to be kind, they like to be good for people, and they do a good things for other people. So if I would be a Christian and there is God, I would win. If I uh, would be a Christian and there is no God, at least I would not lose, at least I would continue to be a good man. But if I would reject to be a Christian and there is a God, I would lose. So I decided better to be a Christian. <laughs> of course, it wasn't so clear for me, but I, I thought maybe it's more wise or better to be a Christian. I, and, I, uh, and I decided to pray uh, to God and ask about forgiveness of my sin and ask him to uh, accept me. Uh, in his hands, in his church, and it was a really big moment in, in my life. It was the splashes around me, not, nothing very special at that particular moment, but I remember how uh, God started to open his words, his word, his uh, Bible for me, and it was, uh, uh, it were really significant moments in my life when I was uh, sitting in a church during the service, and each word, uh, each word of the pastor really touched my heart because, because they really spoke about me, about my sins, about my forgiveness, about my future life. And it was uh, something unbelievable for my life. So, and really, I remember all of these moments. And it was at uh, 1989. Then I 
after all of this experience, I uh, finished my uh, how to say secondary school, my ten years education at a at a, at a school, and I started to uh, be in a uh, military school. But I was there only one year, and then I started to study at uh, state to say state forestry academy. You know, we have quite huge forests in, in Russia. That's why we have a, a big academy to study this. So, and uh, there we organized a group of people together with the Campus Crusade. We organized a group of uh, people who would like to study the Bible. And I was very excited to, to speak to people about Christ. And it was also very uh, interesting moment because I, I, in my group I met people, I met uh, a girl from local church, another girl from uh, Boston Church of Christ and a man from uh, Hare Krishna's. And, <laughs> and all of us, we try to witness to unbelievers about that God is exist. And at that moment when we started and when this unbelievers already uh, told us, okay, let's assume that God exists, but how it look like? What is the God you believe in? And when we started to explain to unbelievers in what God we believe, I, according to my Christian view, uh, uh, Hare Krishna guy, according to his Hindu view, and other people according to their view, so that unbeliever he told us, please decide by yourself in what God you believe. <laughs> And it was also a special moment for me because before I thought that we believe, all believers believe in the same things and we uh, should be agree with uh, everything together uh, in, in the same things. But I saw uh, that here in this real life we are very different. And I try to speak with Hare Krishnas uh, in what God I believe and try to understand in what God they believe. And uh, I found out that we believe in very different gods. And the next question raised upon me, like, what, what would be, I mean, what would be in the future with me, with him, if we be, believe in so different gods? And at that moment I met some people who already started to think about the same question before me. And that team, they call themselves the Center for Apologetic Research, and they asked me, to visit their library to see something, uh, some new researchers there, and I was really excited to see the uh, dictionary of books about the different religions, and I uh, and I learned for myself a new my, myself a new word, uh, apologetic, Christian apologetic, and I saw how it was important to understand in what you believe and be able to present in what you believe not according to your uh, personal knowledges but according to a bible a truth word of god which is uh, which was not changed which is not influenced by uh, personal views but existing already more than 2000 years and for me it was a big experience big challenge to study the bible to learn the truth to try to uh, present this truth for uh, to unbelievers or to those who are trapped in wrong religions, religions. And uh, still now I see that God is somehow helping me do this. He uh, uh, show me to do this. He pushing me to do this. And I really like to do this. And thanks Him that He put me on this place to serve Him in such a way.